apparently dad was on top of it. <laughs> Too close. Okay. So, question. Mm -hmm. I'd get my food out of Zapper. If Bell lives in a land. If Bell and what? Works in, if Bell lives in a land far, far away and has to go to work in the land. Yep. What is she doing here? No, why is she. Dri why does she drive all the. Well. She had, well, there was a, the, there was a, supposed to be a breakfast this morning that, um, she was invited to, um, uh, by Max, her dad, um, uh, this morning, mm -hmm. this morning, it was going to be an early morning breakfast that, um, both of my girls were supposed to come to and supposed to bring the boys to or bring their boys to and she had taken she had already taken the night off to come over and she thought that well her 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 friend decided that they didn't want to come today so she wound up doing a lot of driving um, instead of taking a quick nap on the drive down. Does that make sense? Mm. And she was so, and then my, my eldest was also supposed to show up today, but decided for Dude. whatever reason that she, well, the claim is that she was supposed to be going camping even though she knew about the breakfast um and but then because her boyfriend didn't want to um, come pretty much pretty much uh she had to vent so honestly i think it was kind of an inconsiderate thing her knowing that bell hadn't gotten had, had been up all night long you know and then well i want to vent so you show up over here so that i can you know complain about the fact that my boyfriend doesn't want to do anything with me and yeah i just Yeah, so she, Belle not sleeping all night and Belle being, you know, wanting to be the good sister, even though she was flipping tired, went over and, you know, essentially consoled her sister when her sister's yeah, supposed see, to be the one controlling her. I mean, god damn. I would say, yeah, no. I need to sleep. So, and Bell still, we still have a bed and stuff set up over here so that when, you know, Bell comes, sister, comes over. Bell's yeah. sister that, you know, there is such a thing as a quack. As a you what? You talking about 1-800-QUACK? 
spell. <laughs> you can you can tell all your frustrations and vent to any psychologist you want. Mm -hmm. So, suck it up. Fair Life ain't enough. fair. No, it isn't. Well, see, the thing is, is she made her choice. In my opinion, she made her choice. And yep. now she's not happy with her choice. Well, and here's the thing. There are other choices. This is true. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, know, you can always say, you know, this ain't working. Fuck out. Fair. Because you're option A. I'm going to go find option B. Well, um... My eldest has never really been known to be able to be by herself. Mm. And she's she's one of those where, you know, don't get me wrong, I love her to death. But she also makes everything about her. Does that make Sounds sense? Sounds like my eldest. You know, it's oh, like you, you, you start you start to point you start to point out facts or you know you know the you point out the facts, you point out, you know, things that are her own fault and she's gotta turn it around to make it where it's well poor me. That sounds like my oldest. You know, and, and like I said, I, I love her to death. Except I, I don't point out <laughs> her facts. I don't point out the facts. I just say, well, I told you what you needed to do. You don't want to listen to me. Not my problem. Hmm. Well, sorry. And, and, and that's it right there is, you know, you know, Max and I both have, you know, tried talking to her and, but she wants, she wants to, she, for whatever reason, and I found out that she's actually kind of mad that we we actually made her move out and, you know, start living her life and taking care of herself because she was essentially freeloading off of us. She didn't want to well, help out yeah. around she didn't want to help out around the house. She didn't want to do anything that, you know, What's required to live there? Yeah. Like work? Either work or, you know, stay in school. You know, get, you know, do what you said you were going to do and, you know, get the, the license you needed to do the, the job you Stuff wanted to do. Stuff that you needed? Yeah. And she, it, it got too hard and she just didn't want to do it anymore. So she dropped out and... The whole idea oh. for staying at home was, you know, stay at, stay in school. And if you wanted, if you want to do other things, then you needed to, you know, stay start work, stay work, uh, stay working, oh. and help out around the house. But she didn't want to help out around the house. Real quick. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, that sounds a lot, a lot like my oldest. Yes, well, so and it's like I told her. I says you, you, you said that you would help out. You said that you know you would stay in school. You said that, um, the you agreed to the agreement and that you would do what was necessary to be able to stay here, but then you just stay in your room and you don't help out. And any time that I'm trying to get you to you know, give me a oh. hand with anything, you know, you, you give me an attitude. So it got to the point where, you know, I'm done. I was done. Yeah, it was my, just me. 
my oldest, and uh, this is hearsay, I wasn't there. Okay. Uh, she got pregnant when she was a senior in high school. Okay. All she had to do was follow the house rules. Yeah. And she could live there. Right. In the house with her grandmother and her sisters. Okay. She chose not to follow the house rules, stay at school, and, you know, do whatever needed to be done. Right. So they kicked her ass out. And she was pregnant. So she lived in a shelter or a home for teens, uh -huh. pregnant teens. Right. Until she had her baby. Uh huh. And they still wouldn't let her move back in. She doesn't want to follow the rules. Right. And it's like, well, that's your choice. And then she got pregnant again. So she is currently you would on think this, You would think that she, she is, would yeah, learn so, a lesson. So she is currently on child number four. And she's living in a shelter. Uh, two of her kids live with their father. Okay. Uh, so she has to pay child support. And, and I told her, I said, what you should do, and I said, what you should do is join the Navy, mm -hmm. the Air Force, or the Army. It doesn't matter what branch. Right. Get on your feet and go from there. Right. They say, I know, she's pregnant. And it's like, well, yes, yeah, you can't do that now, can you? Yeah. So it's like, that's her choices. And it's exactly. Like, like, and then she keeps calling me, texting me, asking for money. It's no. Sorry. No. Uh -uh. You, it, you want you, and, and you want to keep making crazy, the choices. The last time she called me, uh -huh. the last time she texted me money uh -huh. was, uh, I think, last month. And she texted me she wanted $2 for bus fare. Two dollars turns into four dollars and so on and so forth. But I'm sitting here, it's two o'clock in the morning my time. Okay. Okay. So what are in the hell are you doing out at three o'clock in the morning her time in Texas? Right. That you would need bus fare to get back to the shelter. Yeah, what is it that you are doing? Is she on drugs? She didn't tell me. No, she didn't tell me if she was working or what was going on. Mm -hmm. She just told me she needed two dollars for the bus fare, and I said, you know, you said you'd after the last time you you stop. Asking. She goes, well, I'll stop asking for money after this. No. <laughs> Not doing How that. about she get herself a job? I th she is, she takes after her mother a lot in that regard. She'll okay. start something. And she then doesn't finish, finish it. it. She'll start it. She won't finish it. She just keeps doing the same freaking shit. Her current boyfriend or current ex boyfriend. Uh huh. Current father of her child is okay. behind bars. Oh. Uh, yes. So it's like, well, you pick them. I don't pick them. <sighs> Fair enough. Like, if you can't pick a good guy, and it's always, she she's always gone for Mexican. Oh. Now, I have nothing against Mexicans. There's good ones, there's bad ones. Just mm -hmm. like everybody else. Fair enough, yeah. But it, it seems like she's picking the bad one. So, it was like, I, I don't know what to tell her. And then I found out from my sister. Mm -hmm. uh, Is this when she called last week? Yeah. That 
my cousin who lives in Tennessee somewhere uh -huh. was looking at jail time why because her boyfriend was dealing meth out of their apartment oh no and she goes well whenever that happens I just go in the other room I'm not involved in it. <laughs> and then she hit a bunch of his stuff, his pills, mm -hmm. in the car. So instead of going going to jail, the judge realized that, yeah, she's made a mistake. Mm -hmm. She got five years probation instead of 15 years in jail. So that was your cousin? Yeah, and she's my freaking age. Oh, she's, I think, like two months older than me. Uh huh. So she's 61. So 15 years in prison, she'd be looking at in like 80? Yeah. 70 something by the time has she, she ever out. Has she ever been in trouble before then? No. And that, I think that's why the judge leaning was leaning on, on her. But it's like, well. You knew what was going on, and you did nothing. Yep. Sorry. It is your problem. Fair enough. You know, can't fix some people. No, you really can't. And you can talk. But, you can you can keep talking, but no matter how much you talk, it doesn't. They don't listen. They don't. They don't want to listen. No. No, they don't. And it's like, so... They think yeah. that they know like, better. Oh, well. Like, oh, well. Whose problem is it? Not my problem. Not my problem. Hush. Dad's up. So this is her dad. Okay. Oh, that looks like Major. It is not Major. But it looks like it Major. Is, <laughs> it is Bobby. His name is Bobby. Okay. I actually you look here. So here's major. Right? Okay. And here's here's Anders. Here's Bobby. Bobby was Anders' son. Oh, okay. So you got Bobby and you got Mike. Ah, he still looks, <laughs> yeah, he still looks like, yeah. And then, oh, this is him before. So I named him Bobby Browning. It's the goatee because they have the same goatee and the same hairstyle. Fair, fair enough. But this is him before I moved him in with, with uh, Mike and made him a teenager. Uh-huh. But yeah. And then this is Nan Nanami Ito. Okay. Oh, yeah. And that's her mom, uh, Megumi. Mm hmm. Megumi. Only back in the game. <laughs> I need to shave you. I need to shave around your eyeballs. <laughs> Once. Oop, can't, oop. One. Fix the baby. Fix the baby. <laughs> yep. Okay, throw away. I don't even know when the baby ages up. I do know that she's got her own little room right there already. 